Hey guys, welcome back to Crafting Barbecue. Uh, today we're gonna do a pork butt. Today's my first cook on the channel. Super excited about it. Uh, I'm from North Carolina, if you can't tell by the sweatshirt. Um, UNC Go Hills. Um, besides that, uh, I'm from North Carolina, so we do a lot of pork here. Um, so they were 99 cents a pound at Food Line, and I went and got me a couple, a frozen one. This one's about 7.77 pounds, so right at eight pounds, so I'm a I'm actually gonna be putting it on tomorrow morning about five o'clock, get up early and do that. Um, I'm expecting about a 12 hour cook based off of what I've seen previously. Um, so hopefully, you know, five o'clock, rest it for a little bit um, and then get to eat in 5.30, 6 o'clock, hopefully. Um, we'll be doing the Eastern North Carolina sauce. Um, I'm from Eastern North Carolina, I think that's the best way. So it will be vinegar based. Um, I'm actually, you know, it's the new year and uh, quarantine, uh, made me gain a few pounds last year. So I'm gonna try to do a keto version of that. So if anybody's interested in that, I've got a recipe to do that and I'll show that too. Um, so yeah, stick around. Um, I'm getting ready to start at going ahead and prepping this thing. Like I said, it's the day before um, and we're gonna let it sit in the fridge until tomorrow morning. Um, let those flavors kind of meld into it and everything and we'll go from there. See y'all shortly. First of all, this right here is gonna act as a binder, this Melinda's pizza sauce. Um, a lot of people use mustard, that's absolutely fine. Um, don't make fun of me, but I cannot stand the smell of mustard at all. Um, I, just one of those things uh, I can't get over. And this works just as well. Regardless, you're not going to taste whether it's the pizza sauce, you know, use any kind of binder whatsoever. Anything that'll stick to it, it'll kind of, you won't get it after a little bit of time. So don't worry about a taste there. And I'm going to hit it with two rubs. I'm a big fan of Meat Church. Um, the first one I'm going to hit, and this is going to be a large base of it, is going to be Holy Gospel. It's a great all-purpose rub. Um, I really like it a lot, especially on pork. Uh, and then I'm going to use this Honey Hog Hot uh, and just kind of give it a sprinkle. It's a little bit more of a finer rub as well. Um, I like things a little spicy. Um, so I'm going to rub that as well. So um, let's go ahead and get this thing going. All right, guys, so what I've done here, I went ahead and squirted some of this on there. You don't need much, I went ahead and laid it down. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply our rub. Um, and we're gonna, like I said, we're going to first do the uh, uh, Holy Gospel as a base um, and then come over top of it at the end with um, some of our Honey Hog Hot. So let's go ahead and get it done. And you absolutely can be uh, liberal with this. It's gonna take a lot of smoke. What I like to do, and you know, I've seen it a lot of places, if you put your hand here on the side like this, make sure you get all the sides as well. I'll make sure that's covered really well. Um, that way you don't miss any surface area whatsoever. There we go. Next, I'm gonna come over top of this right here uh, with this Honey Hog Hot, like I'd mentioned. There we go. Just a nice dust on top of it. This will give you some sweetness. Um, this will also give you a little bit of um, heat. I've uh, actually had it and I actually made the mistake of eating it or trying it out with nothing on it. And when I did that, it uh, burnt me up a little bit. That's okay. So give that a nice coating. I'm not going to rub anything in. I'm just going to let it sit there. Now let's flip this guy over. Now we'll get to the meat side. As you can see, it's a really, really pretty pork butt. All right, so what we're going to do now is I like using two hands for this, okay? So I like one hand getting uh, staying clean. I like the other hand getting dirty, then we'll wipe it off. So again, you don't want much, just kind of a little, do a little zigzag just where it gets coated. Make sure you're just going to rub all over. Just make sure you get it where this rub will stick to it. And again, this isn't a really hot, hot sauce anyway. It's like a red pepper sauce. Um, so it's really, like I said, something just to... You know, let it stick, and then come back over here with our Holy Gospel. Make sure to get on my sides. That's why the bowl is good. It kind of keeps everything in there, and I can rotate it as I'm going. And then come back in with my Honey Hog Hot. The next thing I'm gonna do, I've got a wire rack here, like I showed you earlier. Wire rack's gonna allow it just to sit in the refrigerator. And you can get some air underneath that with the wire rack. So I'm gonna put it right here, plop it there. Move this over here, watch that in a second. And now we'll just let this sit in the refrigerator. Um, 
uh, let's see, we'll get up at five in the morning. So it's gonna sit, you know, about 12 hours or so. Um, it's completely fine to sit there like that. Um, I wouldn't let it sit in there more than 24 hours personally. And it's, you know, there's nothing wrong with doing this 10 minutes before um, and throwing it on. I've just got a little bit of extra time right now. Uh, and if you do have one of those cooks where you're getting up early, it always helps just to be able to hit your smoker, uh, fire it up and go. You ain't got to worry about doing all this. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash my hands, get this thing in the fridge, uh, and I will see you guys, uh, five and girls, five o'clock in the morning. Hope you all have a good evening. Uh, it may be morning when you see this, but I'm going to have a good evening. Thanks, guys. Hey, guys. Good morning. It is 5.15. I got up about 15 minutes ago. Um, already got... Uh, coffee going. Uh, fired my Rectech up, uh, Rectech 340, completely from the app. Um, so when I got up, I just turned it on um, at 225. I fired it up at 502. It was at temp at 510. Um, it's currently outside. It said the grill was 34 when I cranked it up. Um, I would assume outside it's probably about 30 degrees or so. Uh, we had a little bit of a wintry mix here last night. Um, so it, it thing's a beast I mean it and it's been about two weeks since I've used it too not that that's a long time but you know I use it pretty frequently I've because of the new year and going somewhere on New Year's it's been a while since I've used it so um, a pork butt ready to go I've got the meter and I've got a probe here um, as well um, from the Rectech just to keep it up I've got two from the meter um, two of the meter apps excuse me, two of the meter probes to keep up with the app. It'll be the first long cook I've had with those, so that'll be interesting to see. Um, so I'm gonna get this ready. I'm gonna go throw it on. Um, it's still dark outside, obviously, so uh, once I get out there and get it on, I will show you guys what it looks like. All right, guys, so coming over, it's been about three or four minutes. As you can see, we're rolling smoke here. Uh, these are those lights I mentioned, and I think if you've watched my intro video, I don't have a ton of light right through here uh so i bought those for about 10 bucks or so they're really nice um obviously that light over here helps as well um but yeah we're rolling smoke as you can see here set point 225 actual 224 i'm opening the lid one time just to show y'all what we got here uh you really want to avoid opening the lid as uh much as possible here because you're going to get crazy temperature fluctuations if you do um, but just show you where we're looking at. Let's see what we got here. So there she is. So we'll check on her in a little while. Uh, I'm going to go enjoy another coffee here. Um, get ready, go to the grocery store here shortly, get a few things. Uh, and then we'll come out here and we'll spritz a little bit with a spray um, in a couple hours or so. So uh, next time y'all see me, hopefully we got a little bit of a bark going on and we will go from there. All right, guys, smoke on. All right, guys, so pork butt's been on about three hours, 20, 25 minutes or so. Uh, so I'm gonna make a quick East North Carolina barbecue sauce. I've actually already pre-mixed and got it going here, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys exactly, you know, what you want to put in it. And, you know, I, this is actually a keto, low-carb sauce, um, but you can, it's just one ingredient that you can change for your traditional. First thing's gonna be apple cider vinegar. Um, one and a half cups of that. That's the base of this. The next is my sugar substitute that I have here. You can use, uh, you know, in the normal Eastern Carolina sauce, I recommend using brown sugar. You can use white sugar if you want to as well. Um, this is what they have at my store is a great sugar substitute for a low carb diet. Um, next you got salt. Um, just really simple, really basic there. Uh, both your sugar and salt, they're going to both, both be two tablespoons. Um, next, we go to red pepper. This is what, to me, identifies Eastern Carolina sauce when you see it um, outside of the vinegar. Um, so you want two heaping teaspoons of that and just two heaping teaspoons of regular black ground pepper. Uh, and then finally, uh, one teaspoon of your favorite hot sauce. I prefer Texas Pete. It's North Carolina made. Um, and I actually like the hotter hot sauce. It's got a nice vinegar kick to it. Um, so really, as you can see, it's really simple to make. Uh, just kind of combine it all together, whether it's in a pot or a pan. Um, or mason jar or any kind of jar or anything like that. And then what I do is I'll come here and as you see, I got a, just a nice little simmer, um, about five to 10 minutes. So bring it up to a bowl and then, uh, put it down to medium, medium, low heat, let it simmer for about five to 10 minutes. You don't have to, if you don't want to, I think it makes the flavor better and mixes 
all the sugar and salt and spices all kind of together. Um, you can even use this as a mop. Um, I would use it on whole hog uh, more than I would just a, a pork butt. Pork butt, I'm just going to spray a little water and apple cider vinegar. But this is going to be our sauce for when it's done. Um, so, yeah, as you can see, it's really simple. Um, you know, you can do it really in about five minutes or so. Um, if you want to do the basic one without the, the low-carb keto, like I said, just substitute some brown sugar. Um, so, yeah, pretty simple. Uh, I'll go out here in a minute. We get, we're getting ready to uh, uh, go and spray our pork butt here in about, I don't know, 30 minutes, an hour or so. It'll be about four hours or so, and I will see you guys then. Smoke on. All right, so we're about the four hour mark or so on our uh, pork butt here. Um, i am got like a little spritz here I'm gonna put on it. It's just a, I'd probably say three fourths water, a fourth of apple cider vinegar. Uh, just spritz it, keep it moist. This is gonna be the first time that I'm actually opening the lid um, since we put it on. Um, internal, according to meter, is about 140 internal. So we got a good little ways to go. I don't think we quite hit any stalls or anything yet. So let's see what we got here. Oh yeah. So as you can see, it's looking pretty good. Solid looking so far. I like the way that looks. So we'll just take this here. Make sure we get all sides of it. I said this will keep it moist here. Alrighty. Perfect. Close it back down. All right, so that's it. So what we'll do here next is uh, let it keep on going. Uh, like I said, the good thing about the rec tech is you can kind of uh, let it go um, and not have to worry about it. Uh, and just so I, so I can show you the hopper. I mean, this has been on about four hours or so. This thing was full when I started, completely full. Um, and you see, it ain't it ain't eating too much of them. So uh, it's really efficient, even in 30 degree weather. Um, so. That's just another thing if you're considering one of these, and I'm not a rec tech sponsor whatsoever, uh, but that's definitely something you can consider, um, you know, because here in 30 degrees, you know, 225, it's it's really uh, doing a good job on pellet consumption. So yeah, we'll check back in with y'all uh, here in a couple hours. Smoke on. Alrighty, it's about four hours uh, from the last time I was with you guys, uh, about 1.30 now. Um, according to my meter, uh, we're about 166 and 170 and then the rec tech says 180 internal definitely hit the stall uh, around six hours in or so at about 160 165 degrees or so uh, so I'm gonna give these a, a quick little spritz um, if they're not if it doesn't come out of the stall more than it is already uh, what I'm gonna do is I'll probably uh, wrap this around 3 o'clock if it does I'll let it go um, but yeah let's go and get this thing up see how it looks real quick Oh yeah. Wow. Really nice bark on that thing. Beauty. Alrighty. Let me just get this right here. We'll get a little spritz. Oh, look at that color though. Alrighty. And then I've got my internal uh, Almost like thermopin here. It's a cheaper model, but let's see what it's reading itself. Demo. Oh, it's probing nicely. Yeah, about 166, 167 here. A little warmer over here. Got 180 or so. So we're definitely getting there. Uh, right here, it's even warmer. 174 or so. So yeah, it's definitely getting warmer. Uh, if I do wrap it at three o'clock or so, I will make sure I get back in contact with you guys. If not, uh, you'll probably see it here um, when it's uh, ready to be rested for a little bit. All right, smoke on.
All righty. So uh, it has now been just over uh, 11 hours, and I think we're, we're done here. Uh, it's all probing around 200 degrees. There's a little fluctuation between all three, but I've probed it. It's all, for the most part, probing tender um, all throughout. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you guys really quick, uh, and then I'm going to wrap it in full. Uh, let it sit for about an hour or so, uh, get started on a side dish, um, and we're going to eat. So uh, let's see what it looks like. good I think that's pretty solid so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna pull this bad boy off uh, then what I'm gonna do next is wrap it uh, and we will go from there so once I unwrap it and pull it we'll be back smoke on alrighty so here we go so it's been about an hour now since the last time um, I saw you guys uh, it has been the pork butt has been wrapped here in this bowl for about an hour or so um, so we're gonna unwrap it see what it looks like um, and see how uh, good of a shred we can get on it. So let's see here. Get this here, get this glove off. Oh man. There she is right there. She's pretty. this I'm gonna get this glove here on and let's see if she comes apart let's see if we can get a bone out of here oh yeah I'd say that's pretty uh that's pretty easy here let's see if we can get this oh there it is oh yeah that bone is clean as can be there you go pretty nice there Get my other glove on here so I can really get into it here. So as you can see, we got a lot of really good bark. I mean, you don't even need any, you know, those meat claws or anything like that. Um, I like mine a little chunky. Uh, we would like to fire it up a little bit with uh, some sauce, um, but I do like it. We eat it, a, you know, a little bit more fine around here, but you know, so what I'll leave a little bit like this, put some sauce on it. See, man, that was easy. Really, really pretty here too. God, it smells great. Wow. Alrighty. Let's just put, let me get this glove off if I can. Get this sauce undone. What I did here was Sweet Baby Ray's. Uh, an old bottle. Uh, that was the mix that I had earlier today that I showed you guys. So I'm just gonna put a light little bit on this, about half of this, and that way uh, if we wanna use any more, we can. We'll mix this in here like this. Man, it smells great. The dogs over here want to Definitely get a bite. She's pampering. Alrighty. So that's going to be ready for dinner here. All we got to do is get some sides going. We're almost done with that. Uh, so I'll see you guys here in a little bit for a uh, recap and uh, tell you what I think of how the taste was. All right. So Abby gets a little treat. Um, I guess let's see if she at least likes it. It was delicious to me. All right. What do you think, Abby? Well, at least you can say uh, that a dog eats my food, so uh, it's good for at least uh, one of us three here. Uh, <laughs> and she looks like she likes it pretty good. All right, final thoughts coming up. Smoke on. All right, so it's been probably like, I don't know, uh, 15 minutes since we've uh, eaten and been able to clean up and everything. Um, this was a really good cook. Um, just to recap, 7.77. Uh, pound bone-in pork butt on the Rectech 340. Uh, started at 5 a.m. Took about 11 hours and 15 minutes to cook. Um, oh, by the way, we ran all hickory pellets this time. Usually, I lose a used lumberjack um, competition blend. Uh, we didn't have there wasn't any in stock for about a month and a half uh, in my part of the the country. So I was using Weber 
Um, and they were actually pretty good quality, uh, just the regular hickory. Uh, they were similar to lumberjack. Um, so we used the hickory ones. Um, it turned out really, really well. Um, as you guys saw, um, very, very tender, very, very easy uh, to pull. Um, pulled it at about 203, um, 205 in some spots. It was probe tender everywhere. Um, so really happy with that. Um, and so, yeah, so we've got plenty of leftovers, probably about three pounds worth of uh, uh, pork butt. Uh, got it on sale, like I said, for 99 cents. So uh, uh, eight pound pork butt almost for seven bucks, pretty good. Uh, I'll be eating on that for the, for the rest of the week coming up, uh, and then we'll freeze whatever we have. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this first video of pork butt. Uh, please let me know in the comments um, what you'd like to see, any questions you have for me, uh, anything you'd like to see me try to cook. Uh, you know, I'll obviously be doing things uh, without suggestions, um, but anything you guys would like to see me cook that I can get uh, access to, I'd be more more than glad to do that. Uh, if you'll do me a favor, if you'll if you did like this video, if you like, uh, if you if you actually like the content and uh, you want to see me do more, um, you know, you can uh, subscribe and share with your friends if they think they can get something out of it. Um, so again, I really appreciate you guys taking a look at it, uh, and I'll see y'all next time. Smoke on.